Hi everyone, I'm Katrina. I'm the Sigma Partner Lead at PhData. And today I'm going to show you the number one thing that I check before I publish a dashboard. One of my favorite features in Sigma is the drill down feature, which is when you come to a dashboard, you can look at any visualization and right click on it and click drill down. And you can kind of dive into the details for what's making up that bar in this bar chart. But one of the things that folks sometimes forget to check is what options are available in this drill down list. So for example, if I click on price, uh, this doesn't really make sense for this visualization. It can be very confusing to the end user. It's not very helpful. So I'm going to undo this and show you how to edit this list or edit that option. So we'll go into edit mode. And all I need to do is right click and go to the drill down menu again. And you can see that we have this edit list option over here. So I'm going to click on this. And generally, I select a very small number of things that I know my folks are interested in or make sense for this visualization. So I'm going to click all of these and click Save. And now we'll close this, publish again, go to the published mode or published version. And now when I right click and drill down into this bar, we can see we have a lot fewer options. We only have options that make sense or that we selected. One of the jobs of a developer, in my opinion, is to try and help end users from tripping themselves up or preventing them from getting an analysis that doesn't make sense. And this is one way that I help ensure doing that in Sigma. Thanks for listening, and I hope you follow along for the rest of our Sigma Made Simple series.